थर्ड वन रिजॉल्व टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स प्लस वन बाई एक्स क्यू प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर इन टू पार्शल फ्रैक्शन सो नाउ दिस टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स प्लस वन बाई दिस कैन बी रिटर्न टेक एक्स स्क्वायर कामन इन टू एक्स प्लस वन दिस इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर इज मीन्स एक्स इज रिपीटेड फॉर टू टाइम्स so linear factor is repeated for two times means we get two partial fractions for non repeated linear factor we get one more partial fraction so for x square means here we have to write a by x plus b by x square for x plus 1 c by x plus 1 am i correct so now here 2x square plus 2x plus 1 by x square into x plus 1 equals to lcm is x square into x plus 1 this is a x of x plus 1 plus b of x plus 1 plus c x square this this gets cancel we have A x into x plus one plus b of x plus one plus c x square equals to two x square plus two x plus one. Now here we have the two linear factors only. One is x, other one is x plus one. So zero of x is what? Zero. So put x is equal to zero. What is the zero of x plus one? Minus one. So we can make the two substitutions. One is put x is equal to zero. Put x is equal to minus one. So put x is equal to zero. If we put x is equal to zero, this becomes zero. This becomes zero. Now b of zero plus one is one. Zero plus zero plus one. So This is b equals to one. Now put b, put x is equal to minus one. This becomes zero. This becomes zero. C into minus one square is one. So two. This is minus two plus one. These two gets cancel. C is also one. But how to find out a value? This is the question will arise here. So now. there is no other way we have to equate the coefficients first let us see coefficients here x square and x square so equating equating x square coefficients on both sides so if you just equate x square coefficient on both sides this side is A C A plus C. Right hand side we have two, so two. Since C is one, we get A. A plus one is equal to two. A becomes one. Now here replacing A value, B value, C value, we get the partial fractions of given fraction. So therefore. 2x square plus 2x plus 1 by x cube plus x square equals to a a means 1 by x plus 1 by x square plus 1 by x plus 1. Fourth problem. Resolve two x plus three by x minus one whole cube. So this problem can be done in two ways. X minus one whole cube means 
a by x minus 1 plus b minus b by x minus 1 whole square plus c by x minus whole cube and we can determine a b c values. But otherwise one easy method is there let us discuss easy method by substituting x minus 1 is equal to y single variable. So, let us do that method. So, now put x minus 1 is equal to y. this 2 x plus 3 by x minus 1 whole cube becomes now x is y plus 1 that implies x is equal to y plus 1. So, now we can substitute 2 into y plus 1 plus 3 by y cube. So, this is equal to 2 y plus 2 plus 3 by y cube. So, this is 2 y plus 5 by y cube. Now, we can separate it 2 y by y cube plus 5 by y cube 2 by y y cube means 2 by y square this is 5 by y cube, but y is nothing but x minus 1. So, partial fractions are 2 by x minus 1 whole square plus 5 by x minus 1 whole cube. Generally, we have one misconception that if such kind of problems are given, we actually expect that before actually doing the problem, the number of proper fractions can exist for this one means simply we say 3, but here see we get only 2. So, now the next problem, fifth one. x square minus 2 x plus 6 by x minus 2 whole cube. So, this also we do same method. Let x minus 2 is equal to y, x is equal to y plus 2 x square minus 2 x plus 6 by x minus 2 whole cube can be written as y plus 2 whole square minus 2 times y plus 2 plus 6 divided by y cube. So, this is equal to y square plus 4 y plus 4 minus 2 y minus 4 plus 6 by y cube plus 4 minus 4 cancel. We have y square plus 2 y what do we get next? We have only plus 6 s plus 6 by y cube. Now, let us separate it y square by y cube plus 2 y by y cube plus 6 by y cube. y square by y cube means 1 by y, this is 2 by y square plus 6 by y cube. But y is nothing but actually here what y is x minus 2. So, that means partial fractions 1 by x minus 2 plus 2 by x minus 2 whole square plus 6 by x minus 2 whole cube. Thus, we can find out the partial fractions.